Well, right now, we're taking a moment to track coronavirus for you tonight. With vaccine eligibility expanded statewide, a growing number of people are now able to get a shot. That's right. You know, we've seen health departments and hospitals hold mass vaccination clinics, but our local smaller businesses are also playing a big role in vaccination efforts. They are busy. Six on your side's Elizabeth Kubel spent the day checking in with local pharmacies, getting a look at how they're handling this high demand. Yeah, she joins us live tonight from East Tennessee Discount Drug and Strawberry Plains. So, Elizabeth, get us up to date. Well, though vaccinations here just wrapped up for the night, they have been offering doses for the last couple of months now because both this pharmacy and another one that I spoke to earlier today say the demand is there. It has been crazy. So especially in the first few phases, it was just kind of off the charts, uh, phone ringing off the hook, which is, was expected. Everybody really wants this vaccine and we're excited to help. At this Strawberry Plains Pharmacy, the demand for a vaccine is high, about 100 doses a day, six days a week. But the pharmacists here have gotten it down to a routine. We'll have double pharmacist coverage. Uh, it'll be me and Chase. Chase was here this morning just to kind of get the vaccine drawn up to prepare for the day. And the biggest success stories is just dealing with the pressure and the added stress of handling the vaccines and getting that done and it is also I think it's our biggest challenge it was kind of like a, an eye opener just like wow this is this is a lot it can be a lot some days the amount of people wanting a shot also came as a bit of a surprise to fellow pharmacies there's so many people ready to just get back to normal max says it's given out over 8500 vaccines and counting. We're just very fortunate to be giving the vaccine and to have given it to so many people already. And um, we wish we could give it to everybody that wanted it. And for those who are eager and still waiting, at both of these businesses, there is a way to access leftover doses. We have the list at the pharmacy of people wanting to get the vaccine, but you can always tell them if you have any extras at the end of the day, you know, I'm ready give me a call. As soon as we figure out, hey, it's been canceled, we're going to need to fill this slot, we will call different individuals that have called us and said, hey, I want to be on that list, and we'll get them in and get them vaccinated. I also spoke to the health department's Dr. Martha Buchanan recently. She told me she's proud of how Knox County has rolled out vaccines, and she's also happy with pharmacies like this one and other medical teams who are working to get community members vaccinated. Bo, Lori, all right, thank you so much. Yeah, we're grateful to yeah, them. The definitely. Hard workers and taking a look at the latest vaccination rates in Knox County, nearly 29% of the population has gotten that first dose. Right now, more than 15% of people in Knox County are fully vaccinated against the virus.